Hi love, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making an 8 piece skirt. I will show you a simple method of cutting the skirt so that at the end of the tutorial you should be able to cut and sew the skirt perfectly. But before I continue, I want to appreciate you for your support. Thank you and God bless you. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Chisom Ene. Here I teach about hair growth and fashion tutorials. So please, subscribe to join the family and turn the notification bell on for more videos. Thank you. So, with that being said, let's get started. To make this set, we are going to need like three yards or three and a half yards of an African print material depending on, on how wide you want the flay to be. You can use three yards or three and a half yards. All right. So the skirt is going to have the skirt is going to have a band. This is what I call a band. They're like one and a half inches wide. And an elastic at the two sides of the skirt like this. This is the type of the skirt we are going to make today. But if you want if you don't want to put elastic at the two sides of the skirt, you are free to do so. So it has zip at the back side as well. So the front part of the skirt will be four pieces in number. This is the front part of the skirt to be four pieces in number. And the back side will also be four pieces in number, making a total of eight pieces. All right. We're going to put the zip at the center, the center line here. There is no special zip allowance to the skirt. I'll just put the zip at the center line of the back side. All right. So this is the back of the skirt, and then this is the front side of the skirt. Four and four. And as you can see, we have the fitted parts. And then the flay part okay so from here from the waist measurement to the knee to the knee measurement is what I call the half length that is the fitted part from the knee measurement downwards is the flay part we are going to be doing our folding based on how wide we want the flay part to be that is from here to here and from here to here and from here to here all right so for me, I'm going to be doing my, the wideness of my own flay is going to be 18 inches. That means from here to here is going to be 18 and from here to here 18, 18 and then 18. The flay part of it is going to be 18 inches in wideness. Alright, so that when I fold it to cut, we are going to have 9 inches. I'm going to show you this as we continue. I hope you understand. So like I said before, the, the fitted part of the skirt is going to be from waist to knee. But it's not going to be exactly on the knee. It will be like 2 inches or 2.5 inches above the knee length. So that you'll be able to walk uh, freely. Alright? The measurement I need for the skirt is going to be the hip measurement, which is 43. My hip measurement is 43. The half length, which is the half length, which is from here, from waist to the knee measurement. Remember, I said two inches above the, the knee measurement. For me, it's going to be 18 inches. Alright, and then the full length, the full length of the skirt, which is from here to here, is going to be 43. 43 inches that's the full length of the skirt these are the three major uh, measurements i need for the skirt all right if you're not going to make use of elastic at the two sides of the skirt you are going to need your waist measurement as well okay but for this tutorial i'm not going to be making use of the waist measurement because of the elastic at the two sides i hope you understand so now, because you are making an eight piece an eight pieces skirt, 
we are supposed to divide the hip measurement by 8, which is the total number of the pieces. But for the skirt to have a perfect fitting, we are going to divide the hip measurement by 2 first. So we have the hip measurement. The hip measurement I'm working with is 43. So I'm going to divide the hip measurement by 2 first. The 43 divided by 2 will give me 21.5. Okay? 21.5. So the front part of the skirt, the front part of the skirt is going to be 20, 21.5. And then the back part of the skirt is going to be 21.5 as well so because we have the box at the back side that means the back side is bigger than the front side because of the box so the front side is going to be very flat while the back side is going to, is going to have a box shape to accommodate the hip or the box so for that reason I'm going to minus two inches from the first from the front part and then add the two inches to the back side. So I'm going to do it now. 21.5, 21.5 minus two will give us 19.5. And then here 21.5 plus two will give us 23.5. So guys, the front part of the skirt, that is the four pieces in the front, is going to be 19.5. And then the back part of the skirt is going to be 23.5. So the next thing we are going to do now is to divide the 19.5 by 8. 19.5 divided by 8 will give me 2.5. After the approximation, it will give me 2.5. And then 23 over 8 will give me 3 inches after the approximation. 3 inches. So it's, it's, it's either you do it this way or, or you are going to do 19.5 divided by 4. Because we have four pieces in the front, you divide it by four, which will give us, which will give us 4.875. And then you will not divide this by two because we are going to fold the material into two while cutting. So you are going to divide it by two as well, and then you get 2.5. Okay? The back side, 23 over 23.5 divided by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of the pieces will give us, will give us 5.875. Then we are going to divide this, this figure by 2 because we are going to fold into 2. I will show you all of this while cutting. So when you divide this by 2, you are going to get your final result to be 3 inches. So whichever way that is easier for you to go about the division, you are welcome to do so. Okay? It's either you divide whatever you have straight away by 8 and get your answer or you divide it by 4 and divide by 2, you will still get the same answer. I hope you understand. So, we have 3 inches for the back side. 3 inches. 3 minus, the front side is 2.5. Minus 2.5, it will give us 0 0.5 inches. So, so, what we have now is that each piece is of the back part is going to be bigger than the pieces of the front part by 0 0.5 inches 
I'm going to show you what I mean when we are cutting it. So this is just what we need for the cutting of the skirt. I hope you understand. If you think you don't understand, please watch the video again. This is very, very easy and simple to understand. All right. So we are going to go into the cutting right away. So guys, we are going to cut the front part. We are going to cut the front part of the skirt first. And after, after cutting the front, we are going to cut the back as well. I folded my material into two, which is why we divide whatever we have by two. 19.5 divide by four. One, two, three, four, because we have four pieces. And then whatever we have, we are going to divide it by two because of the way we fold our material. I folded it into two, just like as you can see. So I said the wideness of my flay, each flay, each of them is going to be 18 inches. That is from here to here 18, and from here to here 18. So 18 by two will give me nine. So my folding is nine inches. I have nine inches here. So when I open the flay, after cutting it, we are going to have 18 inches. I hope you understand. We are going to start by adding the vertical measurement. That is from the waist. Here is the waist. From the waist to the hip. The distance from the waist to the hip. And then from waist to the, the knee, which is my half length. So from the waist to the hip, it's going to be 6.5. 6.5 so when I add the band of 1.5 inches it's going to be 8 inches from waist to hip I hope you understand so from waist to the half length or to the knee length for me it's going to be 18 inches so I will mark We are going to add the horizontal measurement now. All right. So my hip measurement, what we have here is 2.5 for the front side. So I'm going to measure 2.5. I believe you know how we got the 2.5. So the, here is my 2.5. I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. One inch, then I mark. So all together we have 3.5 inches together with the sewing allowance. So I'm going to extend the 3.5 inches here. Remember, the skirt we are making is going to have elastic at the two sides. So if you don't want to add elastic in your own, just divide your waist measurement by 8. That is if you are not adding elastic. I hope you understand. So we have 3.5 inches here. So to achieve this, to achieve this shape, this shape here at the knee length, I'm going to remove 0 0.5 inch from whatever I have here. Alright? So I have 3.5 inches here. I'll remove 0 0.5 inch. So what I'm, I'm going to mark at the knee length is going to be 3 inches. Alright? 3 inches. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to connect the lines. Here is going to be straight. From this, from the knee length, I'm going to draw connect to the to the length of the skirt like so so here is going to be complete nine inches at the down part so remember the length of the skirt I'm working with is 43 and I added one inch sewing allowance okay so we are going to connect it now So 
So we're going to cut it now. So we've just finished cutting it. So the next thing I'll do is to trim this side. So here I'm going to come up by one inch. I'll come up by one inch. Then I'll connect it like this. So I'm going to cut it out now. So the down part is going to have this shape. So when I open it, if I open this, I'll have 18, 18 inches. I hope you understand. So we are going to cut in an alternate method. Okay. So here I remove the flay, this side. So when I want to cut the second one, I'm going to cut the flay, this side, so that we are going to save our clothes. So I'm going to use this one to cut the remaining three for the front. So we are done cutting the front part. So we have four, four pieces, one, two, three and four so we are going to cut the back side now so to cut the back side of the skirt which is this one the back side I'm going to use the front side that we have already cut to trace it to trace it to cut the back side but the only thing I'm going to do is to add 0.5 inch here okay according to our calculation we'll have the back side three inches and the front side 2.5 inches so three inches minus 2.5 inches will have 0.5 inch so we are going to come here and add 0.5 inch so here i have 0.5 inch Okay, this is to create the bot allowance at the back side. I'm going to connect this to the waist like so. We are not adding anything extra at the waistline. And then connect this to the to the knee length. The same knee length. The only difference is at the hip side. So this is what we have. And then we we'll connect it down. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. The back side is bigger than the front side by 0.5 inch. So this is the 0.5 inch here. This is the 0.5 inch. The waist side is the same, and the down part is also the the knee measurement is also the same. So the hip will have a curvy shape. The hip, the hip part will have a curvy shape like this. So after sewing this, we are going to appreciate what we have. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, which is the back side, to cut out the remaining three. All right, so let me go ahead and cut. So guys, we have just finished cutting the, the back side. So I have one, two, three four so I'm going to cut the lining I'll cut the lining exactly the same way I cut the pieces I'm not going to use lining to turn the down part of the skirt so my lining is not going to get to the full length I'm going to I'm going to stop my lining somewhere here all right so that after sewing it I'm going to weave the down part of my skirt so let me go over and cut the lining I'll be using cutting lining for this skirt I'll cut it and then 
I will show you what I have. So I've just finished cutting the lining. If you want to use the lining to turn the down part of the skirt, you are going to use the cut the lining to get equal to this length. I hope you understand. Okay. So I will go over to the machine and sew the front and then sew the back side. And whatever I do to the line, the material, I will do to the lining as well. I just finished sewing the front side and this is it. The front is very flat because there's no butt, there's no hip at this side. So it's very, very straight, very flat. And then this is the flare part. This is the lining. This is the lining. And then this is the back side. I use the lining to turn this side. That will be our zip allowance or zipper allowance. So it's two in number. That is two for this side and then two for this side. So I'm going to join it. I'm going to join it like this. And then we'll put our zip at this side. So I'll go ahead and join the two of them and show you how it looks. So guys, I've joined the two together. And then look at what we have. So this is the zip side at the back. I've given it a good press. So the back is not is not straight like the front. The back is not straight like the front. As you can see. So this is the butt space at the back side. Unlike the front side that is so flat. I hope you understand. So the next thing I'm going to do is to trim the front side. So this is the front, the front side. I'm going to fold it like this, and then I'll come to I'll come to the center here after folding it. Here I'm going to go in by one inch and mark. This is optional though. So I'm, I will connect it to this place. That it will not be too straight all right so i'll go to the machine and join the front and the back together so this is the back and this is the front so we are going to join them together I'll go over to the machine and join the front and the back side together. Okay? So guys, I've joined the front and the back side together. And this is what I have. So when joining the two sides, you just have to sew straight. You just have to join it straight down. Okay? With your one inch allowance so this is the back side I'm going to measure here to cut out our band so what I have here is 20 I'll times it by 2 to get 40 that is 20 times 2 will give us 40 so I'll cut our band The wideness of the band that I'm going to be cutting out is going to be 2 inches. So 1.5 inches for the band and half inch for sewing allowance, making it 2 inches. And then the length is going to be 42. So I'm going to cut it out now.
this is 20 inches and then one inch for sewing allowance cut it out so this will be for my band i'll go i'll go ahead and sew the band and i'll show you what we have so if you want you can put an interface in here if you want you will leave it it's entirely optional so for me i'm not going to put any any interfacing so let me go and fix it and then i'll show you what we have so guys i fixed the band what i did was to place it at the right side facing right side and then i sew the band round to the zipper allowance as you can see i'm going to fold it again like this to sew the second one to turn it up like this before closing the band i'm going to attach the elastic this is seven inches okay so i'm going to place i'm going to fix the elastic at this line this line here after the side line the second one this line here i'll fix it like this i'm going to use my pin to hold it So I'll fix it like this and then I'll fix the second one at the front this line here also at the front I'm going to attach the elastic there like this I'll hold it with my pin okay this is what we have so when I want to sew it I'm going to stretch it and sew after sewing it, it will gather to gather the material. I hope you understand. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll put it at this line and pin it. So, having attached the elastic, I'll fold the band like this, and then I'm going to sew it. I'll be sewing it while I fold the band. After sewing it, we'll have something like this. Let me go over to the machine and join it. I'll be right back. So guys, our skirt is ready. I've just finished attaching the band and then I fixed the zip at the back side as you can see okay and then this is our elastic at the two sides here and here as well so this is the fitted part and then this is the flay part All right so guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to support your girl all right till next time for now it is bye bye